What's up guys, David Sherwack here, and today I'm gonna to be doing another editing tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna be doing a video on, on how to reveal or hide text in Premiere Pro using objects in real life. So I'm gonna show a couple examples of what this is first. Um, first, I'm gonna show an example of using just a straight line, such as a pole or something like that, or a wall, a side of a building, something like that to hide text. And I'll also have a video playing right now that shows an example of a more kind of complex object hiding text, which is my own head in the video that I'm showing right now. But in this tutorial, I'm just gonna be doing the more simple example, which is like a pole or a pillar or the side of a building or something like that. So obviously, if you're gonna be trying this, you need to find a, an obstacle or an object in real life that you're gonna be recording. And yeah, let's just get right into this. All right, so it's starting to rain right now, which kind of sucks, but what I'm gonna be shooting is this pillar right here. So I'm gonna be showing how to hide and reveal text by using this. What I'm gonna do to shoot with this, I'm actually gonna use this tripod right here. I can pan super nicely with this and super smoothly, so I'm gonna use this. Stick the camera on the tripod here and to try and get a nice smooth shot with that. So now that I have my shot, I'm gonna go into Premiere Pro right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to edit this. All right, so we're here in Premiere Pro now. I have a blank project and I have my video right over here. So I'm gonna drag this in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find the exact part of the video that I actually want. So as you can see, this is just a panning video and I'm gonna be using this pole right here to uh, hide the text and then I'll do one revealing the text as well. So um, I'm gonna try and find what I want. So find the area of the video that you're actually gonna be using for this effect. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is actually create your text. So I'm gonna go to the type tool down here, click on the screen and just type whatever I want. We'll do test. We'll just do an all caps test. I'm changing that font because that font is just atrocious. Um, if you guys wanna see what fonts I usually use, if, in case you're wondering, um, I will scroll down to the, the most common ones I use. I've been using the Pataloma Italic. Uh, I use Primetime. I found these all on Defont, so you can find these as well. I like these Unisans ones. Um, the Unisans Bold Italic. That's what I'm gonna be using for this because that's honestly one of my favorite uh, fonts recently. I'm gonna change this to black just so it can stand out a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is put that in the center. Um, mostly, most often you're gonna be putting your titles in the center there, so you can put it somewhere else in the frame, but for this effect, putting it in the middle of the frame is gonna be the easiest. So adjust your text, make it whatever you want to, make it however big you want, but also when you're making it big, make sure that it can still, the object that you're gonna be using can still cover the whole text. So if I made this, which it wouldn't work for this, I wouldn't be able to make it too big because the pole covers the entire frame, but try and keep it small enough to where your object can obviously cover the entire text. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the frame before, try and get the text as close as you can to the object that you're gonna be using. For this first one, I'm gonna be showing you how to hide it. So we're gonna go to the frame before. As you can see, the test is almost touching this pole or this pillar right here, but it's not. Um, this is like the closest frame, maybe even, no, we'll do this frame. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click on your text here. So make sure you click the text, not the video file. What you're gonna do now is make sure you are in the effect controls tab once your text is clicked. And you're gonna go down to the opacity section right here. What you're gonna see under the opacity section is the what looks like a pen tool. Um, you're gonna click this, the free draw bezier, so click that. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give you the ability to create a mask. So basically what a mask is, is kind of you can draw the mask and this mask is what's gonna let us be able to cover this text by keyframes. 
So we're going to make sure that the mask one is selected here. Um, if you hover over your video area right here, you'll be able to see the little pen tool that makes that means you have it selected. What I like to do next is I like to go down to the zoom level box down here and you're going to click this. This is just going to zoom into the frame. I'll go to 200% and now you can see that I am zoomed into the frame. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, give myself some more space. What I'm going to do now is basically I'm just going to draw a line outlining this pillar. Now I don't have to draw up this whole, the whole side of the pole or the pillar right here. I keep saying pole. I don't know why, but you just need to draw to make sure that it's going to cover your text. So I'm going to start right here. Left click that creates a beginning point. Left click again. As you can see, I'm just drawing a straight line. And this is why a straight line is easiest. So if you can find an object with a straight line, that's going to make this the easiest. Um, you can still do it, like I said, with other objects, like I did it with my head in my intro, but I had to carefully draw around my head and I had to adjust the keyframes and adjust the mask a lot more. So yeah, that's going to make it a lot harder. So when you're starting out, try and find something with a straight line. And what I'm going to do now is whatever text you have, you're just going to want to draw a box around it. So I'm going to create a point right here, a point right here, and a point right here and that's gonna complete the mask so now i have this kind of rectangular ish shape around my text here but as you can see nothing's happening yet that's because we have to create some keyframes keyframes are basically you go frame by frame changing the mask and it's kind of like what's in animation as well keyframes are in animation so you're gonna have to go frame by frame adjusting the mask um premiere pro has this system where if you have a relatively straight object and the mask is moving relatively straight along this like X axis right here, you don't have to do every single keyframe. So that's what I'm gonna do for this. Um, I don't know if that made sense at all, but before I do that, I'm actually going to put down the mask feather here a little bit. You can click it and press the down arrow. It's gonna go down. I'm gonna do zero because it doesn't have to have any feather. Um, what I'm gonna do next is what you actually need to do is you need to click the toggle animation stopwatch icon that is next to the mask path. So left click that, it's gonna create a keyframe right where you are. So now you have your first keyframe in the animation. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the mask and it's gonna select the mask. And from here, I'm gonna zoom back in just so I can see it a little bit better. But what you're gonna do is go frame by frame. With this button right here, you can go forward one frame. So if I click that, you can see the pole is gonna move a little bit. So I need to adjust the mask by moving it so it's back up against the side of the pole. If I go to another frame, I have to move it again. And as you can see, it starts taking away the text. This is exactly what you want because you want this to be hiding the text as it pans along. So as I continue to do this, you can see that it's gonna continue to hide the text. And I'm gonna continue to do this. It might take a little while, your first time, but you can skip a couple of keyframes. That's what I'm gonna do right here and it'll still work out. So do your whole uh, animation until the whole text is covered and I'll see you guys when I'm done that. All right, so I'm approaching the end of the text here. I'm gonna go a couple more frames ahead. And as you can see, since I'm moving this just straight along the X axis, I don't need to do every frame like I said before. The T is almost completely covered now. Oh. Move it a little bit more and I'll do two more. So this should cover it completely. There we go. So now we have our keyframes in place. And now if we were to play this back, you would see that the pole would cover the text. So I'm gonna play it right here, you guys can see. So as you can see there, as it moves along, it, 
covers the text. It's just a nice slick transition to either get rid of the text on the screen or show some new text. All right, so now that I've shown this hiding of the text, now I'm gonna show how to reveal some text. So I'm just gonna copy this image and I'm going to copy the text as well, not image, video. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all these keyframes because I don't want them. I'm gonna have to do a new mask. So what you're gonna do to reveal some text is kind of the opposite. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the frame right before the text um, is able to be seen on the other side of the object. So as you can see for mine right here, this is the frame just before this T would be past the end of the pillar. So this is where I have to start the animation here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do almost the same thing. I'm gonna go to the text again Make sure you are in effect controls. Go to the opacity tab, hit the free draw bezier. And now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna do the same thing. But this time I'm gonna draw my mask on this side of the pillar. So I'm gonna create this mask, just draw a straight line. Just like that. I'll do one more just to be safe and there we have our mask. All right, so I'm gonna zoom back out, go back to fit, and what you need to do now is if you are revealing text, um, you need to not cover the text with the mask, you need to actually cover where the text is gonna be. So you need to do this and draw the box on this side this time. So once you complete the mask there, you're gonna see that the text is gonna disappear, which is exactly what you want because you're revealing it, it's not gonna be there to start, but then as we move along in the frame here, the text is gonna be revealed under the pillar. So what we're gonna do now is the same thing. I'm gonna bring down the mask feather to zero, and I'm gonna bring this mask path, hit the stopwatch to toggle the animation. Now we have our first keyframe. So what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna make sure this is selected so I can see the mask. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go along with the animation, go forward a couple keyframes, bring it back. And as you can see, the text is gonna be starting to be shown here. As I go along these keyframes, T is gonna to start to show up. And you're just gonna do this until all of the text is revealed. So I'll be back once I'm done all of this. As you can see here, I'm about to complete the T. I'm actually gonna adjust my mask a little bit so it fits the pole a little bit better. Pole, I keep saying pole, don't know why. And I'm gonna keep going along these keyframes. Almost done here. A couple more. And there we have it. We have this animation complete as you can see the text is completely there now um, what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to go back to the mask i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so the text has room and it won't disappear make that a little bit bigger and if i was to play this it's the complete opposite of the previous clip right here it reveals the text just like that so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can do more uh, complex shapes. Just the masking and the keyframes are gonna be more complicated and it's gonna take a longer time. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This is just a really nice effect you can introduce to like your vlogs and stuff like that. It's just like a really nice, subtle transition of text. So if you don't want your text just appearing on the screen, ra screen randomly, you can do this and it's a really nice, sleek, subtle, uh, transition kind of piece you can use so that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully it helped if it did make sure to tell me down below if you guys are liking these editing tutorials make sure to leave a like and yeah that's gonna do it so if yeah if you guys liked it make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace